Hey guys, this is Comic Uno, and we are talking about Legend of Korra, the season premiere, uh, three episodes that aired, which is kind of crazy. I did not even expect it to air this summer, and we get a surprise shock um, out of left field that Legend of Korra um, had three episodes to air, and it was announced last week. Uh, so yes, I am doing a Legend of Korra review, even though it is a hiatus. I hope you like the scenery <laughs> back here. Uh, but let's talk about the, the three episodes. So this is right after our big um, event from last season. Now the spirits and Republic City are intertwining together. There's vines growing in Republic City and everyone hates Korra. You know, not just the fan base. Everyone in the city hates Korra. So uh, Korra has to figure out a way to get the spirits to move out of the city, not obviously get them away from the regular world, but to make these vines get away. She kind of leaves that uh, in the episode. She says, let's figure out why there's all these airbenders popping up. So that's what she's figuring out now. She kind of leaves Republic City for, uh, for now. Uh, there's these villains now popping up uh, because our main human, who was a villain who's been trapped for years, gets airbending. So that's a, a subplot going on, which will probably become a bigger thing in this uh, in this book change. Uh, we get to see some familiar faces in this episode, like Zuko, which I know a lot of um, Avatar fans, uh, Last Airbender fans, are going to be very happy about. Uh, but the end of this episode, we get to see, again, Korra is in this new area, which is great to see. She's in this new area, and try and find airbenders with the rest of the Avatar team. There's a new airbender like Kai. He gets trapped by the Earth Queen, and the Earth Queen's actually trying, sorry, there's actually a tram going out there. Anyways, um, the Earth Queen is actually trapping these new airbenders. Is she a villain? We don't know. So, uh... Korra doesn't know anything about this yet, but as an audience, it's definitely getting tense. Now, what did I think about them airing three episodes at once? Um, I really liked the idea. I actually thought the pacing was great because of those three episodes. If it aired episode by episode, there were some good cliffhangers. Again, the Zuko cliffhanger, uh, there's good cliffhangers, but I, I think the pacing because of three episodes worked very well because you see all these different story arcs going on at one time. Again, the, the Earth Queen, uh, these villains coming up that are all different benders and they've been bad guys for a while it seems like and uh, that's uh, the stories that we are getting developed within these three episodes. Now we all know season two wasn't great. Okay, season two wasn't great. Um, I think we do see that as you see season two as a whole and you had some time to, to digest it. So. Now that season three is here, is it better? I think it actually made a lot of great changes here, uh, especially with Korra's character. Uh, Korra, Korra was very annoying in uh, in season two, and I think she's developed as a character to say, yeah, I'm not a perfect character, but I'm gonna try my hardest to be the best Avatar I am. And she's not whiny, and I like that there's no Mako drama. So, and actually, Asami and Korra are friends, and that's probably the best thing about this whole season, uh, is seeing them together and just, Forgetting about the boy drama and just being best friends, and I really like that aspect. Um, and I guess saw me a little bit more into the show, uh, especially as a human. Uh, it's uh, really great to see her as the Sokka kinda, even though she's uh, not the the comedy of the show. She's definitely the human of the show. Um, and glad that they're putting a little bit more of a spotlight, more uh, with Mako and Bolin having their own story arc. Uh, which I was very happy to see. Again, it's not about this love drama, but they're all having their own story arcs, which is well deserved. And I'm really happy to see that they're kind of listening to the fans. Uh, we didn't love the love triangle. We didn't love that in season two. And now we're getting good stories with characters that I feel deserve good stories. So very happy with the character development with these uh, with this season, how they changed up from season two. Um, again, the pacing's a little off. I don't know where this season's gonna go, but that's a fun part. I wanna see new airbenders. I think that's interesting. There's a lot of Last Airbender references in this, and I think if you are a Last Airbender fan, you're gonna get a lot of that um, in the season. Again, even Zuko. Uh, so it's fun to see that. Um, I didn't love that the twins were back. I'm like, oh, season two memories. I don't need that. But uh, again, Zuko being here, I know a lot of people are happy with that. And again, airbenders. Airbenders being so important in the, in um, Last Airbender. Bender, um, being prominent in Legend of Korra. Uh, it's really cool to see also how the bending 
kind of separated in this season. It used to be this new republic, and now they're gone. They're in a new republic. They're they're actually moving from different places, which hasn't ha happened in Korra. It's all been in new republic. So now that Korra is moving in different uh, places, it also reminds you of Last Airbender. So really, my only complaint is yes, she left her problems. That's really Korra's character in general. So we can't really blame Korra. That's always been her character that she kind of wants to leave her problems. And I think New Republic is gonna. Um, come to a head in this season, just not right now. We know Lim Bay Fong's going to be a bigger part, especially with Earth Queen being a, a villain, I guess. Uh, so I know there's a lot coming for the season. It's only the first three episodes. So I think she left that for now, and then hopefully through the season. That is my only fault with this with this, uh, with this this uh, season premiere. So I'm going to give this a solid four. I really liked the beginning of the season. I thought it was a really good premiere, and I like that we are able to binge uh, these episodes. Now, I don't know if next Friday we're getting new episodes. I hope we are. Um, if we are, of course, I'll be reviewing them probably on time this, uh, this time. So... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please tell me in the comments below what you thought about this, uh, about these three episodes, and if this is a better season so far, what do you think is coming next? And if you watch those Spanish episodes, don't tell me any spoilers, please. Uh, so thank you guys. This is Comic You Know. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for Comic You Know and the Ryan Situations, and don't forget to like my Facebook page. I'll see you guys later.